I'm hiking 1,000 miles of the Pacific Crest Trail, and while it's been amazing, there's been some really low points. This week was the lowest point I had on the entire trail. I think I'd be okay quitting. Last week, it was really uncomfortable to hike alone, so this week, my goal was to make a group of friends. This is a brutal section of the PCT. There's not a lot of water, so you have to really plan out your days. There's not a lot of shade, because it's all just like these bushes around me, you know? You have to be so, so careful. <sighs> not gonna be too fun, I don't think. There were a few hikers around me that I got to know. I camped with them that night, and we made a plan to deal with the extreme heat the next day. Today we woke up at like 4.30 a.m. Today's all gonna be about water management and staying out of the heat because it is gonna be brutally hot today. It's sketchy here. <laughs> We're just cruising this morning, this is awesome. I was really enjoying spending time with my new friends and before I knew it, the sun was rising. First rays of sunshine just hit us. So it means I gotta put on sunscreen soon. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, nice. No, but how long have we been hiking? One week? Oh no. I want some extra protection. <laughs> yeah. You know, like what a walk of shame is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as the temperature was increasing, I was getting slower and slower to the point where I decided to hike by myself. It's hot, this is no joke today. It was getting ridiculously hot, but I had to push on to the next water source. Down to my last liter of water. This is a water cache in the middle of nowhere that locals keep stocked. It's donation based and PCT hikers absolutely rely on this. My precious, precious water. Just walking along. <laughs> Most people decided to wait out the hottest part of the day and a group of familiar faces started to form. <laughs> At this point, I was meeting new people every single day. And it was so fun getting to know new people that were amazing. It's so nice. <laughs> and it's a <laughs> I was finally surrounded by a group of friends, and after I did laundry and had a shower, I was feeling really relaxed. But that was all about to change. So far. Gotta pick up my resupply package at the post office. It may not seem like much, but this detour to the post office put me four hours behind my friends. That meant I probably wouldn't see them for another day or two. All right, back on the trail. This is the latest I've ever left in the morning. <sighs> Just gives me anxiety like leaving this late. Like there's no reason to it. It doesn't matter. I guess I just feel like, you know, if I'm not around other people, I'm like getting left behind, I guess. I know I'll catch up to them. It's not like a logical thing. I think it'll be good for me to just hike by myself this morning and just take it easy. I just remembered today is the day of river crossings. I think we have six of them today. I'm wearing my dry socks. <laughs> yeah. Not really enjoying hiking by myself today. 
I guess I just started out on the wrong foot, like anxious that I was leaving late. And now I'm just hiking by myself and that anxiety isn't really going away. This isn't to guilt them if my friends are watching this, but it would absolutely make my day if they were just waiting under a tree in some shade. I feel like if a perfect storm happened for me today, where just everything were to go wrong, I think I'd be okay quitting. Yeah, my mentality today is just bottom low. Yeah. I really want to be able to just be independent and do this by myself. But I think on days like today, where I just get stuck in a rut, I really need someone around me to just distract me. Help me get out of it, you know? <sighs> I might listen to a podcast or uh, some music. That might be good. Just relaxing now, listening to Backpacker Radio. And yeah, it just feels like they're hanging out. I'm hanging out with them, kind of. It's really nice. It's making me feel a lot better today. Oh, nice. Look who I ran into. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to hike together probably for the rest of the day. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and today was like their first day where I was like, huh. If something happened and like I had to get off trail, I wouldn't be upset. Really? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I feel like a to say my mood was lifted would be an understatement. We talked about the TV show Survivor for probably two or three hours, but we noticed that the clouds were starting to get darker, and that added some stress to the situation. The clouds ahead look really dark. Definitely anything could still happen, so... Yeah. I, I think we'll be alright. Do you know CPR? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're now three hours from the place we want to be, which means we'll arrive Probably in the dark. With a little extra effort, we would be reunited with our friends again. However, I started getting some ankle pain and I had to set up camp early. Yeah, so we didn't make it to Mike's place, which was kind of our goal. And Avery was super nice and decided to stay with me too. <laughs> <laughs> which I really appreciate. It's the better choice. It's the better <laughs> choice. <laughs> with the gross, cold, and rainy weather that night, we decided to go to bed early. So, but in the morning, I woke up and my tent had leaked. It was not a great way to start the day. We set out hoping to catch up to our friends. If we left early enough, we would catch them before they even left camp. Goodness, it's cold today. I don't usually wear gloves, but I really wish I had gotten them out today. My hands are freezing. Mike's Place is a strange highlight of the Pacific Crest Trail. It's the start of a 26 mile water carry, which means most PCT hikers will stop here. But <laughs> Mike's Place itself is really weird. It's a weird collection of kitchen supplies, auto parts, and other random stuff. It has a lot of potential, but in its current state, it feels almost like a junkyard. We stopped there to improve morale and warm up for a little while. Hey, how's it going? How are you guys? <laughs> yeah, good. Good to see you, man. Avery just booked us a uh, like, place so all three of us can stay there and probably like a few other people as well. Super excited. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it felt like I had finally found that group of friends. Whoa, you stopped using a sleeping bag?
this is a, a great way to end the evening. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> And the most terrible weather the next day couldn't even keep my spirits down. I was so happy to be heading into town. My wind jacket is starting to wet out, so I'm gonna change to my actual rain jacket now. Ah, oh, such a beautiful day. <laughs> I get to try my pit zips for the first time. <laughs> Guess what? What? 30 minutes! No <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Cheers! Are all doing it? Cheers! Yeah. For the first time on my PCT journey, I felt like I belonged in this community. The fact that we were all strangers just two weeks ago, and now we were doing karaoke and staying in a cabin together. It was really cool to see how quickly we became friends. Next week we summit a mountain, encounter ice shoots, self-arresting, cowboy camping, and crawling under logs. Anticlimactic now, everyone's already say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>